Hi Taurus, this is Moon Pie doing your spiritual timeless love messages. So I've already placed your cards here so you can just listen to this reading whenever you like or come back to it. You probably will remember if you're listening to it now. If it's not resonating, it may later. So let's get started here. You've got the very soon card. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So this is a card about making a decision about what you want. It's not a card about making a decision about what you want and going after it. This is making a decision about what you want so that it comes to you, not so that you have to chase after it. Okay, but the rest of this card speaks about asking yourself, what do you want? And it demands very clear and specific answers, just like putting in your order at a restaurant. The universe has been listening to your thoughts and feelings about your love life and has brought you what you've asked for. When you complain about what served to you, it's only because you placed an unclear order. As soon as you are perfectly straightforward about what it is you desire, then it comes to you upon the wings of angels in an instant. You drew this card because it's time for you to get clear and honest with yourself and formulate your requests with faith and optimism. Trust your feelings and make decisions for yourself about what's best for you. And then the next card you have is, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul, okay? So this is talking about, wow, if you had the power to do anything, what is it that you would do? Some of you might have this answer immediately. Some of you might already know. Others might just kind of be like, oh, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I never really knew, okay? You have to get clear with the universe, spirit, you have to get clear with God. Uh, you have to get clear within yourself about what it is that you want in your life so that you, you attract it to yourself, okay? And this card here, Work Your Magic, I mean, you've got some very spiritual stuff going on here, Taurus. Um, work Your Magic. You have the power to resolve situations that you are inquiring about or that you're listening about here. This card signifies your untapped magical abilities, which you've used successfully in the past. And if you haven't, pull these abilities out of storage and use them to work your magic now. Your clear and focused intentions, positive expectations, prayers, decrees, and action steps all create the healings and manifestations you desire. So this card says decide clearly what you will and won't accept in a particular situation as your clarity will bring immediate results. Have steady faith in a positive outcome. Study alchemy and manifestation principles. So all of this is really speaking to you about getting very clear with yourself. Um, it's not sitting down at the table and waiting to see what they bring you. Okay, that's not what this is about. This is about sitting down, looking at the menu and say, this I like and I will have that. And that I like and I will have that. And it's making this decision for yourself, okay? Um, we make decisions every day, but there's something going on in your life here that you're not being clear and specific about what it is that you're looking for. And you know, you're allowed to make choices. You're allowed to decide. Um, especially if it comes to a love relationship. Sometimes people have a tendency to just say, well, this is the best to come along, so I'll just take it. You know, like, no, that's not how it works, okay? Um, so you also have health care change. And this, so sometimes these cards and messages intermingle. Other times they're separate. But um, let's take a look and see. This card is a loving sign for you to protect your health by acknowledging the changes in your body. Most likely you'll seek professional advice from a physician, naturopath, I've never said that word before, so forgive me, dentist, optometrist, or nutritionist, so that you can plan how to best manage your health. Stay positive and also proactive. Preventative treatment is called for as a way to empower you to stay healthy for many years to come. And you know, it's kind of funny because we were talking about a menu in a restaurant. Some of you, this these messages might just be about um, eating healthier in your life, changing your diet, okay? Um, 
going to the restaurant and really just staying. Listen, I don't drink soda um, and I very rarely will have a sweet. Um, and that's not because I don't like that stuff. It's because health for health reasons, um, they have a very bad effect on my body, which then affects me emotionally and mentally and spiritually, you know. And so when you are even just sitting down at the table, making, choosing healthier options, right? But choosing healthy options in love, in uh, your spiritual life, in your mental, your emotional, your physical life, all of this, okay? Um, so the additional meanings for this healthcare change could represent getting a second opinion, Change, changing your health care provider, study healing, recognize that you are a healer. And also with everything going on in the world, um, being uh, more cognizant of your actions uh, as far as health, your health goes. Okay, and I feel like a lot of this is about this and it, it doesn't necessarily re uh, resonate for love, but it could. It's really just about asking yourself and making a decision about what you want out of your life. Uh, it's not too late. It is never too late. Even if you are in an unhealthy relationship, it is never too late to raise your standards and um, raise the bar on someone or on a relationship. And uh, you don't have to just stay in something if it's having a negative effect on your health. And health represents all aspects of ourselves. Again, not just our physical, but they all affect one another. And your spiritual life is at the top. And if you're making um, spiritual decisions that are not healthy for you, it will trickle down and have an effect on your entire being, right? So a lot of stuff going on here, but you have the keys. You have the magic keys to make things happen. So find that and do it. Okay, Tara, so much love. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.